things. Okay, so I have all of my stuff packed up and that's really exciting and scary and just like, whew. But so I was about to go load it up into my dad's truck. He has a pickup truck, so it's not like covered. And just my luck, it started pouring rain. I don't even know if you can like see it, but it is just raining so hard. So now his truck is soaking wet. And so we actually just cleared out my garage. He's gonna be pulling his truck in once the rain dies down a little bit. Now we're gonna like dry off his truck and stuff and then we'll load up all of my stuff just because I have to leave in the morning and I'd rather have my stuff packed up the night before. And before we leave, I'm gonna be attending my chemistry class. I have to take my poetry class in the car on the way to UVA and then I'm gonna be missing my Latin class because it's right in the middle of my move-in. <laughs> I'm excited to attend UVA, but I'm really freaking annoyed that classes weren't canceled on move-in day because it's just really frustrating. I already emailed my professors and stuff. I told my Latin professor that I wouldn't be there because of move-in. My chemistry professor never answered, but it'll be fine because I am able to attend. And my poetry teacher said it would be fine if the connection's bad and I'm not able to make it to class, but oh, it's just so frustrating and stressful to have to deal with homework and classes all week this week when I'm wanting to like focus on moving in and spending time with my family, but it is what it is. Okay, so this is the little setup that we have. Got my fridge in already on a towel. Stopped raining for now. It's supposed to rain tonight, so we're gonna load it on up. Once we're done, we'll back the car in for the night and close the garage. Time to load up. All right, we got it all loaded up. It's dark, so it's kind of hard to see. I ended up taking some of like my blankets and towels out so that it fits better. I have like a mattress topper too that I forgot to film. All of the like fabric things, like this is inside the car so it doesn't get ruined by the moisture. And everything here is good to go. Then we're gonna back in the car now. Ooh, okay. So my car is loaded and everything's good. I actually just went and spent some time with my dog, my golden retriever, Jake. And I just little... Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's just starting to hit me that this is like actually happening. And I think he knows, like he just is acting really different. And he is like licking me a lot, which he doesn't always do. Like when he's tired, he usually doesn't, but he just, ooh. And he's just getting older, so it's like really hard to leave him. Because like, I don't know if this goodbye would be like the last goodbye. I don't know how much longer he'll be around, you know, if it'll be a year, two years or less. So it's just kind of hard. Anyone with a dog like knows how how much they really are family. I'm hoping that tomorrow I'm gonna be like so wrapped up in the excitement of everything that I'm not gonna get like emotional, but I don't know. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I'm getting emotional now though. Just thinking about like having to say goodbye. Also, I literally, I look like such a mess because <laughs> I'm like sweaty and gross from the humidity and I'm about to go shower, but with COVID pushing off moving, I was so ready to finally move out, to finally get a move on with college. And now that it's finally here, like I'm, I'm really excited, but it's also just like such a big step. I know everything will be okay. It's just, it's really scary. I know things will be fine and I'm really fortunate to have my family and such wonderful people to support me. I know I'm ready, but at the same time I'm not, but I'm readier than I'll ever be. Whew. I'm moving out. Like 24 hours from now, I'll be in my dorm. I'll be by myself. I'm gonna be by myself for two days before my roommate gets there. Oh, anyway, <laughs> sorry for getting so like emotional. Um, oh my God, that's disgusting. I'm so sweaty and gross. I'm gonna go shower, probably cry a little bit more. <laughs> and I have a lot of homework I have to do tonight before tomorrow morning when I will be in classes. So I guess I'll see you guys then. Good night guys. Okay, guys, today's starting off very poorly and rushed, which I really hate. Just got done with my chemistry class. I have 15 minutes before my next class starts, which means I have 15 minutes to gather all of my things, like the rest of my stuff, like last minute stuff, and then get in the car and join my class. Whew, I'm stressed. Also, another horrible thing, some of my footage corrupted for a journaling video that I did the other night, and I'm really frustrated about that because I spent so long on it, and basically, it's, I'll have to refilm it at college, and just like the setting will be inconsistent, which I really don't like, but it's fine. And then also, some of my packing footage also corrupted. I literally have to go right now. I wish I could like have a more chill goodbye to my room, but this is goodbye. Whew. 
can even close the door. I'm holding my pillow. Okay, so I'm in the car with my dad. He's driving us down. <laughs> and it's really, really crazy. It's like I haven't had time to think about the fact that I'm moving in because I just got finished with my classes for the day. I'm missing my Latin class because it's in the middle of moving. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. But yeah, so we're like, how many minutes away are we? Like 25? 25 minutes. Yep, 25 minutes away. <laughs> yeah, so right now my twin brother is moving in with my mom right now. We're gonna meet him there. I think you can only have two people helping you move in with like COVID and stuff, so my parents will probably help him and I'll probably just like hang out in the car unless they let me start moving in early. I'm not sure. Probably gonna be like a play it by ear kind of thing. But yeah, it's exciting. Got all the stuff packed in the back. Okay guys, I just got to campus. I'm here, that's my building right there. And what's cool is that this one is mine and then right next door is my brother's. His room is somewhere like over here, I don't know, the somewhere on the second floor. floor. Yeah, super cool. I have like over an hour until my move-in time starts but there's like nobody here so I'm gonna see if I can start moving in early. Here with my mom. We're breaking the rules. There's supposed to be one person on the elevator. Is it really? It says one person. Oh, this is interesting. This is not oh, what I was expecting. Like, this is nothing like that. Yeah, no. Benz is really nice. Holy crap. I was thinking it would be symmetrical. Oh, God. Here, I can take my mask off now that I'm in my room. I thought it was symmetrical. So it told me all the dorms are symmetrical, but this is not symmetrical. I'm in the oldest dorm. <laughs> yeah, it's sad. Okay guys, so I did some rearranging. Not sure if I'm gonna keep it this way, but. So this stuff, this, this would be my wardrobe, I think. This would be Laura, my roommate's desk, cause she wanted the natural light for like her artwork stuff. And then she would have like this bed, this wardrobe, and have like this space over here. I'm not sure if that's super good, but we're gonna go with it for now so I can keep moving my stuff in. I am so scatterbrained right now and like frazzled, cause I was just so thrown off, cause every other dorm is symmetrical. I changed my pants because I had the worst period mishap of my life. TMI, sorry about it, but it's the reality. <laughs> Let's uh, turn off these lights. Wow, look how beautiful. <laughs> hey guys. Um, I'm so proud of you. <laughs> Sorry. I love, I love you. Wait, what did Karen say? <laughs> Mom said I'm proud of you. I said I love you too. <laughs> it's hard because you're losing, losing two at once because Ben's right next door. Sammy? I already said goodbye to my dad. Next time I see you, you might be taller than me. <laughs> We're already pretty close. I'm not growing anymore. Yeah, neither am I though, but you're younger than me. You're more likely to grow than me. Okay, yeah, I'm still not growing. with how my dorm turned out. Whew. It's like I'm alone. <laughs> my roommate gets here in two days though. It's just really, whew, it's different. I was telling my mom, it's like, obviously I knew one day I'd have to say goodbye and I'd have to move out. But it's like when you get your license and you know one day you're gonna get your license. But it just feels like it's never gonna happen until it does. And I feel like that's the same with this. It just, 
feels like it's never gonna happen until it does. And I'm really, really thankful that I have my twin brother. He's right in the building next to me. So I'm really fortunate to have that, to have family here too. But like, oh, wow, we're on our own. Oh man, um, I still have a couple more things to do to set up. But yeah, I guess I'm just gonna end the video here. What a crazy video, right? If you enjoyed this video and if you're looking forward to a dorm tour, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel for more college videos, journaling videos, and everything in between. <laughs> I'm, I'm really excited for college and I do want to keep up my YouTube channel for everyone wondering. I'm taking 17 credits this semester, so school definitely comes first, but I'll upload whenever I can, but just be prepared for me to have, you know, some days off um, or even weeks sometimes. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Anyway, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for supporting me and just being here for me because it just is so much, it's just even more comfort knowing that I have you guys. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in my next one. I love each and every one of you. Stay safe, stay happy, stay healthy. I hope you all are having a wonderful day and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.